Hey all, it's King Sam Ferrets here, and today we're going to talk about albino ferrets. We're going to find out why they're white with pink eyes. Can they still see? Is there any health implications? So let's unpack the biology and go through some key facts on these albino ferrets. Being albino, or albinism, is a genetic condition where animals and people make little or no melanin. Melanin being the pigment that colours our skin, hair and eyes. In many mammals, including ferrets, the most common cause is a mutation in a specific gene called the tyrosinase, or TYR gene. This is the gene responsible for kickstarting the melanin production. This mutation interferes with the TYR gene normal function, and hence no melanin is produced. And you end up with the classic albino, white coat and pink eyes. Whilst you might think of albino as just another colour, like sable or silver, it's really not. Albinism isn't a colour or pattern in this sense. Rather, it's the failure of the body to carry out the instructions that the colour genes are providing. The genes for the colour and pattern are separate from the gene for which the mutation causes albino. So underneath, an albino is still genetically a stable, sandy, silver or whatever. Think of it like sending a colour photograph to your printer. The colour instructions are there, but the printer is out of ink, so it prints in black and white. This is why you might hear people say that albino is not a colour, it's a condition. The underlying DNA for the colour is there, it's just invisible without the pigment. Are albinos always white? Yes. Well, in theory, yes. All albinos have pink eyes, and at least genetically, they all have white fur too. However, in practice, ferrets produce natural oils on their skin, which can change their fur to a shade of yellow. In some cases even, Hobden Rudd can produce so much oils that their fur goes almost a traffic cone orange. Whatever their colouring practice, they are still technically colour-free white ferrets. On the other hand, not all white ferrets are albino. If a white ferret has dark eyes, then this is not an albino. The cause of the white fur in non-albinos is due to the instructions from the colour genes, not the mutation in the TYR gene. So why do albino ferrets actually have those striking red or pink eyes? In most ferrets, the iris, that coloured ring around the pupil, is full of melanin pigment. It absorbs light and gives the eye its normal brown or dark colour. Similarly, the retina itself has a layer of dark pigment. But in albino ferrets, because the TYR gene stops melanin production, the iris and retina don't have the dark pigment layers. So when light hits their eyes, it actually bounces off tiny blood vessels inside the eye, and that's what gives them their pink or reddish glow. It's actually the same reason that you see red eye in photographs, or at least you did before digital cameras were clever enough to automatically remove this problem. It's that the flash is so bright that the pigment isn't strong enough to block the light and you get straight through to the underlying blood vessels. Being albino doesn't mean that the ferret is blind, but the TYR gene mutation and the resulting loss in pigment does cause changes in the ferret's vision. Studies in albino ferrets show a lack of optokinetic response, which means their vision is blurrier during continuous motion or when things move in or out of sight. So moving objects aren't as smoothly tracked as with pigmented ferrets. Higher motion coherence thresholds, which basically means they're worse at detecting subtle motion and need more things to change in their field of vision before they recognize movement. And misrouting of retinal cells across to the opposite side of the brain, more than in pigmented ferrets, leads to a reduced visual acuity and poorer depth perception, i.e. 3D vision. All of this means that albino ferrets are more likely to rely on their other senses of touch, smell and hearing to navigate safely. But the albino's poor eyesight is not a progressive condition. They are born with this issue and it stays relatively stable throughout their life, just like a normal ferret's vision. So aside from vision differences, what other health risks are associated with albinism? Well, other than being aware of the hazards that might arise due to their reduced vision and depth perception, the only real point to raise is that due to the lack of pigment, they are at a greater risk of UV rays. On exposed skin, UV causes a greater risk of sunburn, and for their eyes, as they have no pigment, long-term UV exposure can damage their retinas. So giving them shaded areas and dim indoor lighting can help protect their eyesight in the long term. As for hearing, white coats or white patterns 
is often associated with hearing problems in France. However, this is not the case with albinism, which is not reliably associated with any hearing problem. Studies on domestic animals show no consistent association between the TYR mutation and hearing loss. So how do you actually get an albino ferret kit? You don't get an albino simply by waiting for this mutation to happen. Rather, you get an albino kit by breeding parents who already have this mutation. All ferrets have two copies of every gene, but these two copies are not necessarily identical. So a parent could have one copy of unmutated TYR gene and one copy of mutated. Or they could have two unmutated genes or two mutated genes. Parents will each pass down one of their genes to the kit, which is how the kit ends up with two genes. The albino mutation is a recessive gene. This means that the kit will only be albino if it has received a mutated TYR gene from each parent. If it only receives one mutated gene, then it will not be an albino, but it will be a carrier who could perhaps produce an albino offspring of their own. So in summary, albinism is not a color, it's a misprint. Albinos are not blind, but they do have materially worse eyesight. Albinos have normal hearing, and albinos should otherwise live a normal healthy lifespan equivalent to a pigmented ferret. Thanks for watching, do like, share and subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you again soon.